usually it's not this soon after a video that I upload that I have to come up with a uh, a follow up, but it literally within a couple minutes after my video going live, I started seeing comments from other people. I saw it myself, and I was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" And you know, to the people, and there there was a few, not a ton, but there was a few, and there still are on my recent video, like knuckleheads who like you're not paying attention to what we're talking about. Like, come on, man. Before you comment, before you say something, actually, like, look at what the video is about. I, I don't know. But I've had people tell me, like, why bother making a video on this issue? You knew what you're getting yourself into. It's a waste of time making a video. It's a waste of time tweeting all these dumb freaking things. It's such a waste of time. One, it's what I do. I make videos. That's my job. And sometimes it is just ranting about some boobooness that's going on out there. To, to like spread the word, let people know. Maybe the company will respond. I don't know. I've done this plenty of times with some nonsense that has happened and have caused positive impact with certain things. Not always, but sometimes changes do occur. And this time, I'm not necessarily taking credit for this, but I'm just saying, if no one, no one at all speaks up, no one says that there's a problem with something that's going on, will it be fixed? You don't know. But I think if nobody says anything, the chances kind of get smaller and smaller. Maybe the company will just not even look at it. Maybe they don't know that something happened. Uh, maybe they were pulling a fast one. Some Who knows? Could be a glitch. Could be a fast one. Regardless, whatever they're doing, if they don't, like, they could just be like, ah, well, nobody's talking about it, so screw it. We ain't got to do nothing about it. So I put my voice out there, maybe not the biggest voice in the world, but sometimes it can help and it spreads awareness. Some people may not have known that they had an issue with their shipment and that they got ripped off. I started seeing a lot of people telling me with their analog pocket orders that they, they chose priority. And now that they looked at it, they're like, what is this OSM worldwide thing? They were, it, it was a big clusterfuck. I don't know how many people were uh, affected by this, but right after that video, analog put out I mean, I got an email. I checked my bank as well. Uh, they refunded for my analog pocket glow in the dark. They refunded the full shipping charge. Good on them. I appreciate that. That's not what I expected. I just expected, hey, you screwed me over by shipping economy instead of what I paid for. Just refund the difference and we'll deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully the package arrives type of thing. I, I didn't want to really risk it with the uh, pocket glow in the dark order using this crappy service that they have, but that's the way they did it. And they're claiming it was, just, you know, some kind of a, a error with their fulfillment partner and it impacted a small number of orders. I don't know what a small number is. Is it 10 people? Is it a hundred people? Is it a thousand people? Who knows? But okay, I'll give it to them. They refunded a hundred percent of the shipping cost. I appreciate that analog. They say they apologize for any inconvenience caused have taken measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. I hope so. I appreciate it. I'm glad that they did something about it. Am I still annoyed? Yes, because it doesn't change the fact that this service that they use sucks, man. This, this last mile handoff delivery thing, it sucks. This OSM, they lost a package of mine, it, it, it appears. They lost a package of mine. It's been sitting for over a week now after it moved around a couple times. The seven, oh, you know, seven to 10 days, it's not going anywhere. I don't know what the hell happened with it. Right, So then after that, I placed other orders because I didn't know there, there was an issue until after. Like you order something, they don't ship it right away. It says within 24 to 48 hours. You might get a tracking number 24 to 48 hours. But for me, it's not looking like they're actually shipping. I have a package that's going through UPS from them that hasn't, hasn't been picked up at all. And I, I got like an email the same day from like UPS, hey, this second day delivery, you're going to get it tomorrow because you're in California and it's coming from California. And it's, it's like signature required. And I'm like, oh, shit, okay, I'll keep track of where UPS is tomorrow. And then the next day comes, and it's like, we're going to have to reschedule your delivery. And I was like, oh, that's fine. No big deal. And I look at the tracking. UPS doesn't even have the package. They're still waiting for it. So I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on with all that. The, you know, the, the people out there who were getting, like, stupid with me about why do I talk about this or why bring it up, I already explained, hey, I talk about boo-boo-ness, spread awareness. Hopefully something happens. People become aware of it because I don't like being ripped off. That's what the main thing is. I don't care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's 10 cents. I've had people like 
purposefully like steal my change paying with cash. And I don't care how much change it is. You don't steal from me. And I feel like when, when something like when you pay for something and you get something that's not the equivalent of what you paid for, it's lesser than you were ripped off and you have every right to be annoyed by that. It's not the end of the fucking world. I'm not sitting here like pulling my hair out, you know, pull my hair out of my head. Like, Oh my God, they ripped me off of $8. I'm bringing it up because it's worth bringing up. I don't appreciate it. Other people shouldn't appreciate it. And you just don't let those things slide. If every single person gets ripped off a dollar or two, it adds up, doesn't it? Doesn't it? These guys are already profiting off of this. Even if they ship within California, if I pay for priority and they actually ship through priority, I ship almost every freaking day. And I've been in logistics for many, many years. But if I shipped from within California to California, doesn't matter, Southern California, Northern California, it doesn't take that long. It takes a couple days, right? But the cost is also not up there like crazy. Shipping through UPS, just boom. They want like $18 for that for a little tiny like one pound package within the same state? No, no. I've been shipping packages that are heavier than that, way heavier. I've shipped packages that are like 10, 12 pounds for less than that within the same state. That is crazy, dude. So they're profiting, whatever, profit. I agree or disagree at that point when I choose to pay for the product and the order. I look at your shipping and if, I, if I'm like, they're fucking profiting, dude, but I'm fine, I'll, I'll pay it because I actually want the product and yeah, their little upcharge, okay, it cost me more. I'll deal with it. It's freaking whatever. A lot of companies do that. They profit a little bit off of shipping. I think analog may be profiting quite a bit more than some other people, but you know, however they go about it, you choose at that point, it's just get what you paid for. That's plain and simple, man. Plain and simple. As long as you get, get what you paid for, I don't care if it's a dollar more, $2 more, $5 more, $10 more. If you're not getting what you paid for, it just, it's ridiculous. Nobody should accept that. So that's why we talk about these things. Is it, is it, minor for one individual case it's minor maybe it was a slip up but they had a small number of orders impacted i don't know could have been a small number to them could be a lot to me i don't know but each one of those people they were ripped off was it like on purpose i don't know just it seemed really scummy to me and nobody was saying anything they never responded to my email either i emailed them uh, a while ago when i fucking first noticed this and I didn't get a response. So it, you know, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.